Hi, this is Gali Kofar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about vertigo and how you can uh, eliminate this symptom from your life. Now, vertigo is the most common type of dizziness characterized by episodes of change in balance and the illusion of movement or spinning of the, either you, the person suffering from vertigo, or the environment around them. Vertigo is highly prevalent worldwide, affecting about 2% of young adults, 30% of people aged 65 years and up, and 50% uh, of people aged 85 and older. Now, the recurrence of sudden and unexpected vertigo uh, attacks is very debilitating and may severely affect the quality of life. Vertigo is caused by different disorders, including Meniere's disease and or benign paroxysmal uh, positional vertigo, migraines, and inner ear infection, and uh, vestibular neuronitis, which is the inflammation of the vestibular nerve, which runs into the inner ear and sends messages to the brain to help control balance. Meniere's disease is a chronic ear uh, inner ear disorder. It's characterized by recurrent vertigo, hearing loss, feeling of pressure in the ears and constant ringing or buzzing in the ears. Meniere's disease is thought to be caused by a disturbance of the volume or composition of the fluid inside the inner ear. Now approximately 200 people of every 100,000 suffer from Meniere's disease. Um, and it also predisposes people to another type of vertigo that I mentioned before, which is benign uh, paroxysmal uh, positional vertigo, in short, BPPV. Now, BPPV is the most common cause of vertigo in adults. It has an estimate preva prevalence of 3.2% in women and 1.6% in men. 30% of all people suffer from BPPV at least once in their life. Now, there is a canal repositioning maneuver, which uh, I will add a link to at the end of this video that can help treat BPPV very easily and quickly in most cases. And it's quite a simple technique that takes about an, um, a minute to do or a minute and a half. As for other causes of debilitating vertigo, there is no standard treatment, so patients seeking advice generally feel very helpless. But nutrition can come to the rescue since a dietary change affects every aspect of the body's biology and is practically, um, it's very practical and very simple and inexpensive first line of treatment. Now here is how dietary changes can help treat the causes of vertigo. Number one, you want to reduce your salt intake since there may be a disturbance in the volume or composition of the fluid inside the in, inner ear causing the vertigo, then dietary intake of salt will affect the concentrations of electrolytes, the salts and the minerals that can conduct electrical impulses in the body and in, in the blood. Now this in turn may affect the composition of the fluid of the inner ear called the, called the endolymph. Now high salt intake may contribute to vertigo attacks. The restriction of salt in the diet could control both the volume and the composition of the fluid in the inner ear. Therefore, a, so, a low salt diet can alter the inner ear fluid balance and affect um, hearing function. Now, you will know uh, when you are consuming too much salt, when you find yourself adding a lot of salt to your food before you even taste it, and uh, when the food seems too bland to eat without it. Other signs that you may be consuming too much uh, salt include uh, uh, frequent need to urinate, as well as... Uh, you feel persistently thirsty and also you suffer from headaches and a lot of bloating as well. You may also see swelling in the bottom part of your legs or acne on the face is also another sign that you may be consuming too much salt. You want to reduce the amount of salt you are consuming by reducing highly processed foods that are rich in salt including packaged and fast foods like potato chips, um, deli meats, pizzas and canned soup are a small example. You want to check the label for sodium content. Now consider that you should not be consuming more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, which is equivalent to one full, fully loaded teaspoon of salt per day, not more. Now I recommend using uh, natural vegetable salts as an alternative to table salt to season your food. The, this type of salt is a mixture of dried ground vegetables, which are naturally rich in salt, 
to flavor your foods. This also has the benefit of adding a lot of flavoring to your food and as well as as more nutrients to your food uh, that come from the dried vegetables and it is very delicious. Your body will naturally reduce salt cravings only after about three days of consuming less salt in your diet so take this into consideration. You also want to hydrate your body sufficiently according to your body weight. You can see my video on this. I'll make a link in the description below. You also want to reduce foods that cause vasoconstriction. Now vasoconstriction is the tightening of the blood vessels is in, and it, this is a totally natural part of balancing the body's systems when needed. Vasoconstriction is required to maintain healthy blood flow and your body temperature um, and blood pressure as well. And um, vasoconstriction reduces the volume of space inside the blood vessels. It contracts them. Now uh, this re reduces blood flow to the area and at the same time the force of the blood flow is increased because there is less room uh, in the blood vessels. And when this happens, often due to faulty diet, a person is susceptible be, that is susceptible to vertigo will suffer uh, since vasoconstriction could reduce the blood supply uh, to the inner ear and increase the blood pressure in the inner ear as well. Foods that cause vasoconstriction should be avoided until symptoms improve and these foods include caffeine rich foods and beverages including energy drinks, chocolate and coffee. Caffeine causes blood vessels to narrow increasing the blood pressure. However, a reduction in caffeine intake may lead to withdrawal symptoms. Just take this into consideration and these can uh, range from mood disturbances and headaches to vertigo during the period of withdrawal. However, keep with the decrease in salt for a few days and the vertigo will definitely um, uh, reduce. At high levels, alcohol also becomes a vasoconstrictor. It's a vasodilator at first, but then it becomes a vasoconstrictor at higher levels and it shrinks the blood vessels, increasing the blood pressure, increasing episodes of vertigo. Now foods rich in saturated fats that increase cholesterol, uh, will naturally lead to narrowing, narrowing of the arteries due to clogging of the arteries with plaque. So you want to reduce the amount of meat and dairy products that you consume, especially if you are over the age of 40. Uh, definitely reduce them to no more than uh, once or twice a week meat and dairy products I recommend reducing or eliminating from your diet completely. They are not foods that are suitable for human consumption. Now. Foods, I have videos on that subject, a lot of videos and uh, books on the subject of dairy products. Now foods rich in refined carbohydrates um, cause the veins to constrict due to high levels of glucose in the blood. Increase your fiber intake instead to stabilize uh, triglycerides and to stabilize your blood sugar levels and um, uh, you want to be consuming whole grains and fresh fruits to prevent these spikes in blood sugar levels. You also want to increase your vitamin D levels. Vitamin D deficiency is common among people with Meniere's disease and uh, most people do not have enough vitamin D as it is. And I definitely recommend supplementing with this vitamin when uh, skin exposure to the sun is not an option due to culture or due to your location. So uh, vitamin D deficiency is common among people who suffer from vertigo. So definitely supplement your diet with this vitamin. Another uh, thing, uh, also hypo hypoglycemia, uh, the inner ear has fluid filled membranes that help detect sound and are highly dependent on a continuous supply of energy. So when your energy levels drop, as is what happens in hypoglycemia, this energy, um, you have less uh, adenosine triphosphate and um, this influences your glucose and hormone levels and uh, research shows that glucose metabolic disorder is found in up to 80% of people with, um, with vertigo and with dizziness. Now in Brazil, glucose metabolic disorder has already been considered the most frequent cause of ear metabolic dysfunctions that lead to vertigo. You can prevent hypoglycemia by following the guidelines in my video on this subject. Now also a lack of physical activity can lead to uh, vertigo. A lack of regular physical activity and low physical fitness level is a risk factor uh, for uh, BPPV. Uh, it is easy to add physical activity into your lifestyle by walking daily 
You can read about the importance of physical activity in my book, The Gorilla Diet and Lifestyle Program. But I also have a free ebook on the benefits of walking in the members uh, area of my website, The Gorilla Diet, which you can register free in the members tab. And then when you're inside the members area, look at the drop down menu that says health modules and uh, you'll find the free ebook to download. It's titled Walking for Health. And this will surely help you add this vital habit into your lifestyle easy, uh, easily. It's very, very crucial. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, I know how difficult it is to suffer from this uh, really debilitating uh, symptom. And um, I hope that, these, uh, that this advice can help you. If, you. if it does, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.